Peace and love, everybody. It's your man, Manny Faces, back with another episode of Hip Hop Innovates with Manny Faces. Now, last week I came to you and I said, I'm going to come and I'm going to do these and they'll be quick and I'm going to give them to you every weekday. And then immediately this week, I ruined it and I apologize, but I got a little sick and things were kind of scrambly. So you missed Monday and Tuesday, but I'm back Wednesday. I'm back here today. Uh, I definitely want to keep, keep these going every day. Again, just, just a few minutes. Try to keep them under 10 minutes. Just quickies from the world of hip hop music and culture, the stuff you don't hear about from the hip hop blogs or on the hip hop radio and not the love and hip hop stuff, but you know, the hip hop being done, uh, all the things that a lot of people say they want from hip hop that they don't hear about or don't think exist anymore. Uh, you know, I'm here to kind of amplify and signal boost. So when we talk about hip hop and education or hip hop and social justice and activism, or just, you know, a uh, real creative hip hop or things that are happening, uh, in different ways today, do my ladies run this mother like this is about women in hip hop so of course this is going to be a recurring theme because you can never talk about the great expanse and wealth and beauty of all the women uh participants contributors pioneers uh futurists in hip hop uh, in one 10 minute episode of hip hop innovates with Manny Faces uh but I'm going to uh, uh try to give you a little quick snippet because one of my favorite events is coming up uh, this Saturday, the set March 2nd, 2019 in New York City. Uh, it is called, I'll give it to you one second. It is called Mama's Hip Hop Kitchen. Now, this is a yearly event that goes down. Shouts to all the people, uh, Kathleen, La Terre, uh, Liquid, uh, Nini Ali, uh, La Roca, uh, everyone who's been uh, uh, involved in this, in this movement for, I don't know, what is this now, like the 12th? annual event this happens at hostos community college it's in new york city now if you're not in new york city and i understand this has nothing to do with you but it has something to do with all of us because when we talk about the lack of women uh voices in hip-hop or when we talk about the misogyny in hip-hop or we talk about all the negativity negative imagery towards women in hip-hop we forget that there's a lot of positivity coming from our queens and our princesses uh in in the in the world of hip-hop and and this is proof of that now what we need to do is find our local personification of this so if this is new york city i believe that there are going to be uh areas throughout the country that have similar organizations uh one right quick is we found hip-hop they're out in detroit shouts to piper carter and the folks at we found hip-hop uh so when i tell you that uh when i tell people or when people bring up the negativity towards women or the lack of women voices and i'm saying yeah no i get it I get it. It's not always in the mainstream. It's not always where it's real, where it is real apparent, but it exists. Shouts to Mama's Hip Hop Kitchen. If you're in the New York area, from 2 to 5 p.m., it's a free event. It's open to all ages. It's a community-minded event, and it's a showcase of women and girls in hip hop. I mean, from everything from performances to uh, uh, speaking uh, about topics that are important to uh, young women and girls, particularly in communities of color, that can be reached or addressed through hip hop. Everything from domestic violence, everything from health. Uh, aware. There's always health uh, awareness booths and 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 vendors, uh, local uh, food services, you know, like local growing urban food kind of situations are happening. There's always a great vibe at at, uh, at Mama's Hip Hop Kitchen. So I want to shout them out and I want them to stand as a as a as a model for what you can do locally if you want to improve upon or amplify the voices of women through hip hop or with hip hop. So once again, Mama's Hip Hop Kitchen, it's one of my favorite events uh, coming up this Saturday and you can find them. Go back there at mhhk.org. Uh, like I say, if you have children, if you have young girls and, and you are in the New York area, place to be this Saturday. It's from two to five, Hostos Community College up in the Bronx where the people are fresh. So that's my shout out for today. Again, women in hip hop is going to be one of the great recurring themes uh, that I come back to on these episodes because it's not something you can handle in, in just one shot. Uh, but I want to give examples. I want to make sure that somebody's talking about them. And if you see and hear and hear this and, and want to amplify my amplification, please do. You can share this. You can subscribe to this on YouTube or on Facebook on the Center for Hip Hop Advocacy uh, over here. You can find all the links and everything. But on YouTube, on Facebook, and, um, of course, uh, on all the social medias, you can find me, find us. My name is Manny Faces. H hashtag hip hop innovates, uh, tag a, 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 a woman in hip hop or a woman's organization in hip hop that are doing fabulous things. I just mentioned two of my favorites and a bunch of my peoples that are involved with those hashtag hip hop innovates and share yours so that the world sees what we're talking about. Uh, 
on that note, I'll continue on my artist of the day. I mentioned it real quick. Nini Ali on the left there with uh, La Terre of, uh, of the Mamas Hip Hop Kitchen crew. Nini Ali has been involved with the, the Mamas Hip Hop Kitchen crew for, for so many years. Uh, she started as a very, very young uh, spoken word artist. She's a hip hop artist. Uh, she is a fiery, fiery MC, uh, just an, uh, a fiery lyricist passionate and powerful uh, a wordsmith that i you know when you talk about spoken word poets or or even hip-hop artists or someone who does that kind of you know uh merger that kind of living you know in that little world just one of the best i've ever seen one of the best i've ever come across and uh we're speaking about women we're speaking about mama's hip-hop kitchen check out nini ali uh find her find her spoken word stuff just google her you'll find her everywhere on youtube and her website and facebook and all that and if you get a chance to see her in person you'll be blown away uh so out here in newark new jersey over the summer uh she'll be at mama's hip-hop kitchen again for the 940th time uh but she's a real treasure and i encourage you guys to look her up and find out more about her once again mama's hip-hop kitchen nini ali uh if you want to nominate an artist of the day could be a woman doesn't have to be uh artists i'm looking to highlight are you know women and uh are women uh but uh, all artists or artists kind of affiliated that are going a little bit above and beyond in the world of hip-hop music and culture perhaps they're uh like nini ali speaking about social justice issues issues that are important to communities or being at uh, you know supporter in events like mama's hip-hop kitchen could be anything i i bigged up smith and weston just for being veterans pioneers in the game they're still making good stuff i bigged up silent knight who works with me on the Newsbeat podcast talking about social justice uh you know in a hip-hop way uh, so we have different all kinds of strength i got a bunch lined up but i'm always looking for suggestions so once again hashtag hip-hop innovates let's help make uh these uh make noise make noise about these things um i want to double check to make sure i am working with everything and not forgetting anything uh no that's it that's who we're talking about today on the podcast i have called hip-hop can save america uh, one of the actually first guests, Dr. Bettina Love, right there. You see her right there. I encourage you to check out this podcast and 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 listen to my uh, inaugural episode, all the episodes, really. Season one was done. Season two is coming. So it's great stuff. But great talks with hip hop people, uh, educators, innovators across all fields uh, in uh, fine arts, education, science and technology, all kind of things. Season two is coming up. Uh, stay tuned for that. Hip hop can save America dot com or wherever you find your favorite podcasts. And lastly, I'm going to put you on to the uh, hip hop advocate. It is a semi weekly uh, every two weeks or so newsletter that i put out if you like mama's hip-hop kitchen if you like hearing about women in hip-hop doing incredible things if you like hearing about hip-hop and education if you like hearing about hip-hop above and beyond just what's on the radio above and beyond just the entertainment value but the community minded stuff the the uplifting of lives and livelihoods and communities this um newsletter is a cura hand curated by me i go out to the field and i pluck uh beautiful uh ripe articles from throughout the internet and i and i assemble them into a basket uh of 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 delicious news items and i put i assemble them and, and put them in a newsletter straight to your inbox free of charge sign up at hiphopadvocacy.org and uh get your email address in i won't sell it i won't use it for anything else but i will send you these amazing stories of hip-hop innovation inspiration and insight once again my name is manny faces that's hip-hop innovates for today women run this ladies first in my house and in my world and in your world too if you're really about hip-hop you're always gonna find time to amplify the, the the women and the real movers and shakers that are uh allies and uplifting our women in the game so once again hashtag hip-hop innovates tell me your favorite woman artist or woman uh affiliated organization or whatever it is that bigs up women um and that's how we get this thing going check us out check me out every weekday here uh wherever you're watching me but i'm on facebook and on youtube the center for hip-hop advocacy and we'll be back uh tomorrow god willing all right peace thanks for listening